Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pika and I do fragrance reviews. So welcome everyone. I finally, thank the Lord, have a haul for you guys. I waited literally two months, two months for me to buy fragrances. And for me, that is a very long time, but I hung in there, I waited for Black Friday and here we are, I finally have a haul. Um, this is more so on the luxury side, so I finally spent some some good money on some real luxury fragrances that I've been wanting for quite some time. And before I get into this video, guys, one disclaimer, and I haven't had any comments like this, so don't assume that somebody has told me this. I've just realized this through life. <laughs> just through life, to be fair. Um, some people assume that I've come from money, or that I've been given money, or that my family are rich or something. I grew up in a very poor environment. Um, both my parents were immigrants, and growing up we did not have a lot of money at all. There was lots of things that had happened, and lots of struggles. So, growing up, I did not have the best relationship with money just because I didn't know how and it's given I've it's taken me years <laughs> for through hard work through motivation to motivate myself I finally have the money to actually be able to buy some really nice stuff so I just wanted to say that because I think I don't want to give you guys the wrong impression like I'm not grateful I am the most grateful person because I've went through those struggles and I understand where I am now. So let me get onto the haul. Um, I'll start off with a bit of a bang. So the first one was actually a pre-loved um, purchase and it was the same kind of weekend as Black Friday, so I'm gonna count it anyway. This is Caban by YSL Le Vestiaire, kind of private collection. As a designer house, YSL is probably my most favourite designer house alongside others like Tom Ford and stuff but YSL can make some really sexy fragrances and this is sexy. I did sample this but I was not expecting it to come off my skin the way it did. Um, the patchouli is quite prominent, so if you guys do not like patchouli, do not buy this fragrance. The tonka and the rose and the elemi, which is like some type of resin, give this fragrance a really beautiful sweetness. This is a sweet, um, like woody fragrance, and it almost has, which is very strange, I've never understood why this is like this on my skin. It has an exoticness to it, almost like it had coconut, or some type of like guava or something in there. So that's what I get on my skin. Awesome longevity, moderate projection. It's not the most beast mode fragrance in the world, but this smells expensive and a little bit more mature because the rose is a little bit deeper. Uh, so yeah, give this a go. So that is Caban by YSL. The next one is a designer fragrance and I've wanted this one for a really long time. I've smelt this in shops again and again and I knew that it was a love for me. It was just, I was waiting because it was a new release. I was waiting until the prices came down for Black Friday and sure enough they did. This is Dolce & Gabbana, the only one intense for women. This, as a summary, is like a vanilla green apple ice cream with coconut sprinkled on that is sitting in a in like a vase of jasmine this is white floral heavy so if you guys do not like white florals this is not the fragrance for you but it does have gourmand touches to it with the coconut and van vanilla and the apple as well. I find the apple gives it a bit of a greenness in the very opening and that's what lingers around on my skin quite a bit. So if you've not tried this one guys, this is an amazing designer scent. So that is The Only One Intense by Dolce and Gabbana. So the next one, oh you guys, oh I nearly spilled it. Oh. Right, let me just, uh, give me one sec. All right you guys, so the next one is by Memo Paris. And I originally bought this from a French company 
which used a very bad delivery company here in the UK. So I've had to get a refund on it as well as Gold Fluidity by Maison France's Coque de Jean. So I bought this from a UK place recently and I got it just in time. So this is Lali Bella. Um, I've talked once about this on my channel and I've wanted this in my collection for the longest. And the theme, the theme in this whole haul is like coconut because this has coconut and vanilla in there as well. Oh my god. Wow. So this is a floral, um, almost like floor. yeah, this is a floriental scent. Let's be real, guys. It does have some woodiness to it, so um, I think... Oh, sorry, I just had to smell it. I think it has some type of sandalwood or something in the base. Um, but overall, this is an orchid peony vanilla coconut scent so it's very floral in the beginning but then it does settle down more vanillic almost like quite gourmand but not gourmand it's like it's like flirting with gourmand category but it doesn't want to be gourmand and it's it's very mature it's more like a bouquet of flowers with a deep vanilla this is not like a vanilla pod at all this is like a deep vanillic coconutty mature floral scent so please please sample this before you buy it it's such a beautiful everyday signature scent it's more warm so i would recommend this more in the fall and winter and yeah this is awesome so that is lalibella by memo paris so the next one that i have is one and the only one that I have from Anissio actually. This is Side Effect by Anissio Poffer. Oh god, this is some tough, some tough box. Okay, right. So this is the way it looks like. Very, very pretty. And the one thing that I would say, I did sample this before buying it, but I didn't realize until I started spraying it again and again on my skin how similar this is to Mer Imperial by Armani, which I already have a bottle of. And a massive shout out to the most handsome Marcus. I don't even know how he looks like, but I'll just say handsome Marcus. He has an Instagram, uh, Instagram page called PDM UK, I believe. And he's also the owner of a UK site called Seasense, which has amazing discounted fragrances. And he is the plug. If you guys love niche brands, and if you want a discount, which is very rare, I mean, I know in this year hardly ever have any discounts on their fragrances because they're bougie or whatnot, but this guy can get amazing discounted fragrances. Um, he sent it to me within one day, so I thought that was a steal. So I'll put his Instagram handle here and his website if you want to check it out. This is a gorgeous, boozy tobacco almost resinous kind of sense. It's it's almost like the love child of Tobacco Vani and Mer Imperial by Armani. If you put those together, this is literally it. So, oh my God. Woo! So the beginning opens up with this beautiful rum, uh, like almost like piped tobacco, like a sweet piped tobacco. This is not a dry, dark what well, is a dark fragrance but i wouldn't say that the tobacco itself is smoky i would not class this as a smoky fragrance i've tried very smoky fragrances like incense type fragrances and this is not one of them this is dark but it's not smoky it has a sweet piped tobacco and overall this is um Almost, it, this is definitely down the line unisex. I would not say it leans either feminine or masculine, but it's 100% for the winter time because it is a very deep fragrance. And as I said, it really, really reminds me of the, just the opulence of Mer Imperial. Has the same type of performance. This has really good longevity, awesome projection. This is the one that I'm wearing today. So if you've not checked this one out, guys, this is, Side Effect by Inicio Parfums. 
So the next one that I have is a surprise to me because I never thought in my life I'd ever own a Zerzhov. The only reason being is because I haven't had a lot of experience with Zerzhov as a company. Um, I have s uh, sampled quite a few fragrances, but as you guys know, Zerzhov have literally hundreds, I think there's hundreds, hundreds of perfumes. This, like, this house is no joke. They come out with a lot of fragrances and I never really have the opportunity to sample them apart from this one. This one blew me away and All Beauty had a sale. I got it for the most amazing price. Ah, oh, guys, let me show you. Let me just show you this work of art. This is Zerzhov Cruz del Sor 2 in the Shooting Stars collection. And I got this literally this morning. So I am so hyped. Oh, guys. This is like a pouch with like a meteorite bit in it. It's, it's just super over the top packaging. This is almost too much for me. Um, but the bottle is beautiful. I mean, look at that. It looks like, I can't even explain it in person. It just looks like the most precious gold ornaments that you've ever seen it's honestly like 10 out of 10 Zerzhov must admit your bot your bottles are fucking beautiful so this fragrance is a tropical dream let me just smell it to remind myself oh guys this opens with the most realistic um, mango that you've ever smelled in your life a little bit underripe uh, under ripen, under right, I think that's what you call it. Um, so it has a little bit of greenness to this mango, then you get the pineapple, then it goes into this milky pineapple mango kind of milkshake, like the froth, not the milk milk, but the froth of it. And then just in the dry down, oh, I don't know whether this has vanilla, but it smells like it does that's when it becomes the sweetest. So in the dry down, it becomes quite sweet, very opulent. Yes, this is a tropical scent, but it's expensive smelling. This is not like your typical fruity tutti kind of scent. This is a dream come true. Ah, oh, you guys, if you've not sampled this, please, for the love of God, if you love mango and if you love tropical smoothie type scents, Sample this. Do not blind buy it because it's expensive. Sample this first. So that is Zerzhov Crystal Soul 2. It is one that I've already kind of mentioned on my channel and I did a separate review for this. This is Raja Enigma Awood and I got this pre-loved so this wasn't in the like Black Friday sales. I got this for the best deal you could possibly get. A uh, completely legit person. I trust him really really like he's a trustworthy person. So this is the love child of Enigma and Amber Awood by Raja. This is the Parfum concentration so it's a little bit it's a little bit more concentrated, which I do really enjoy. And overall, super powdery, floriental scent. I know on, on Fragrantica it says woody oriental, but I would say this is definitely more on the, on the floral side because it does have a very strong powderiness and then settles into this beautiful, soft oud, silky, soft oud. Oud. So this is definitely on the vintage side-ish because it has this peach note which is quite prominent usually in vintage fragrances. Um, it's not a sweet fragrance, it's very elegant, this is not a, a fragrance to play around with at all. Um, I'm not going to spray this willy-nilly, this is not going to be like a signature scent for me, this is going to be like special, special occasion fragrance. So that is Enigma Aoud by Russia. So the next and I think final, no, there's a couple more. The next fragrance that I have is Californian Clementine by Atelier Cologne. And I bought this for a special person in my life. I won't say who. And this is a beautiful aquatic citrus, slightly woody scent. Oh, 
oh my god the the mandarin cypress the greenness with the juniper oh this has vetiver in it so that's what gives it like an earthiness and a woodiness in the background this on guys is beautiful it's a very beautiful fresh scent it doesn't project the most it doesn't last the most but if you're cozying up to somebody and if you want to smell clean fresh beautiful this is the scent for you slightly fruity aquatic with a bit of greenness and earthiness in the background it is californian clementine by Atelier Cologne. To be fair, I need to give Atelier more of a try because their fragrances keep... <sighs> Cafe Tuberosa, that fragrance is a godsend. So that is that one. And then the last kind of fragrances that I received, um, which are the only fragrances that I've ever received, is from Juliana's Perfume. I'm going to be doing a separate review on this, but I thought I'd just include this. This really surprised me. This is an inspired by Fragrance House, but it's very opulent, extra the parfum, so it does, oh, guys, these, these fragrances are beast, beast, beast. Loads of these fragrances I recognize straight away, like Rouge, uh, Malachi, Gridio, but they're almost stronger, which I thought was quite crazy. They aren't exactly 100% like the fragrances, and this is what I'll get into the into with my review, but they're like 85-90% there, and they are stunning. For the price, I think I will probably get a full bottle of one of them, because I think they're amazing. If you want to have cheap, cheerful, but very expensive smelling fragrances, this is the house for you. So that is Julianne's Perfume um, Extra de Parfum kind of discovery kit. So I hope that you guys have an amazing weekend. Um, I do have two more fragrances that I'm waiting for, which are Lost Cherry and Pivoine Suzu by Armani Privé. And I'm really, really looking forward to those two because I've wanted them for the longest time i've just been surviving on samples so yeah i've been waiting for those for a little while so i hope you guys have an amazing weekend really hope that you enjoy this video give it a like thumbs up subscribe all of that jazz and i'll catch you in my next one see ya bye